In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this PDF to link to your Google Drive folder so you can deliver your digital download to your customers if you're selling on Etsy, Shopify, or even your own website. If you missed the previous video, I recommend you check the link in the description down below because I show you how to create this PDF that we're going to use as a deliverable. You know how sometimes you're trying to upload a PDF file to Etsy and let me show you real quick right here. Like if you're selling a, um, a digital product on Etsy and it lets you add up to five files right here, but they're just too big sometimes. Well, you can now save your product to a Google folder, then grab a link from the, that Google folder, link it here where, where we have put this download button and upload this deliverable as a PDF on Etsy. So when people purchase, they get access to this as a PDF, click on download, and then it'll take it to your Google Drive folder so they can download the actual product that they purchased. Don't worry, I will walk you through step-by-step step on how to do all of this. So really, don't worry. I will show you how to upload your product to your Google Drive and make sure that the folder is ready to be shared so your customer can download their product from Google Drive instead of from Etsy, which is very handy when you are selling bundles or your PDF is just too big to be uploaded onto Etsy directly. So um, let's get on with the video. Hello, my name is Yetzia. Welcome to the channel. Before we start, I will leave a link in the description box for you to download this Canva template right here that we created. This is what it looks like originally. And then we um, added our own branding and I'll walk you through how to do all of this on the other video that I have linked in the description box, as well as a link to download this Canva template just like this. So you can turn it into something like this. So you can then link your Google Drive folder. That was a mouthful. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to, no to need is your product. And this is the one I'm using. It's just like a, a file that I already have on Canva. This is what I've been using. Um, for this series of videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export as a PDF. So right here, PDF print and all pages, I'm going to download. And this is the product that I am selling on Etsy, right? I have it now downloaded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my Google Drive and I'm going to add here at the top, add new folder. And I'm going to put um, trial folder for YouTube, um, create. And then it'll put it right here. It's in blue, trial fold folder for YouTube. I'm going to open it and I'm going to put this PDF that I just downloaded. Because rem remember, this is the product that I will be selling on Etsy. And on here, by the way, you can put more than one. Um, let me see if I can grab something. I'm just adding, you know, an image. Let me add another image and let me grab another P PDF. And this is just for, you know, for the example. Um, on here. So I have these four files. You don't need four files. You can have just one or you can have more than one. It really doesn't matter. So just for this example. So now how do you share this folder? So this is what you do. You are going to click right here on the name of the folder. See trial fo folder for YouTube. You're going to click on there. You're going to click now where it says get link right here click on that. And then this is going to pop up. The first thing we want to do is here where it says get link. Do you see where it says restricted? It's like right here. It says restricted. Go ahead and click on that. Now you're going to click on anyone with the link. That's what you want. Anyone with the link. Now, just make sure that it is set to viewer, which means that anyone with the link can view the files. 
um, you don't want people to edit. You don't want them to be editors just because they can delete the files. They can edit the files. They can do whatever they want with the files. You don't want them to do that. You just want them to view those files and they can also download. Just, just make sure that whatever you put on there, it is what they actually purchased because they can actually, um, download whatever is on there. They can click on it. They can look at it. They can download it. They can make any changes or delete or add anything to, to that folder, but they can, um, download, which is what we want. So make sure it's here. Anyone with the link and here it's set to viewer. Now this green link here at the top, this right here is what we want to copy. So here where it says copy link, go ahead and click on that. And then it'll tell you that the link has been, has been copied to try. If the link works, what you can do is open an inc incognito window. I'm on, um, Chrome. You can open an incognito window, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Safari. Um, this is like a separate browser. So you can see Chrome here and this is Safari and I'm going to go ahead and paste that link right here. And because I'm not logged in to Safari, then we're going to see what the customer will actually see once they click on that link. So I have pasted the link over there. I'm going to click enter and this is what they see. Notice that I am not signed in over here. That's why it says sign in because I'm not signed in to any of my accounts. So when someone clicks on that link, this is what they see. They see all of these, um, um, files that you have put inside that folder. And they have a few options from here. They can download all, as you can see right here at the top, or they can click on each one individually and either open it. Let's see this one. For example, they can either open it and from here they can either print and you can see it here at the top, they can either print or they can download and there's more options here, but then let's just focus on these two, which are the ones that they will most likely need either print or download. In this case, what you want them to do of course is download. So from here they can either click here and it is downloading. And here it is. Let me make it a little bit smaller. So I have downloaded that PDF. It's right here. We can do the same thing with this image. I can click on this and it, there it is. And I have downloaded that image so they can either download each file individually or they can download all. And that's what it, it will do. Um, so that's what your customer sees on their side. So let me go ahead again, copy link, and I'm going back to my PDF deliverable. So what I'm going to do now is actually put that link here where it says download. So I'm going to start with the text and go over here, paste, apply. Now this little icon, click on link, apply, and the actual box, click on link, paste, apply. Now this is linked. So when your customer downloads this from Etsy, they click on here and they get taken automatically to that Google folder. Um, you can also click this image. Let's do that just, just for the sake of the video. Um, so if they click on either the image or this actual download button, they can access their file. And if you want to learn how to link everything else and how I've set this up, um, watch the previous video. It's linked in the description box um, to learn how to set up this um, completely. So now all that you need to do is download as a PDF. Don't download as a PNG because the links will be lost. So download as a PDF and I will show you how this works. So here is my PDF from Canva. And as you can see, when I hover over that download button, um, it turns into that little hand. That means that that is linked as well as all of these links are unlinked and they go to somewhere else. So now when your customer purchases, they click on download and they are taken straight to their, um, download folder. And now th and this is Chrome. Um, so it takes me directly to my own folder. That's why it looks different from the way it looked here 
on there it is so it looks a little bit different here i'm not signed in that's why it's like that so if your customer um, is signed in to their, they, they just happen to have a Gmail account. They'll see more, something more like this. But even if they're not signed in and they don't have a Gmail account or anything, they will be able to at least see this and have access to your product. So from here, all that's left to do is actually upload it to Etsy. So upload file, download, and what was the name of my file? Hold on, let me go see. It was one of those starts with the word copy. That's not it. It's somewhere here. Let me look for it and I'll be back. There it is. So it's right there. So I'm going to click open and I'm uploading it to us. And there it is. So now when your um, customer purchases, they're going to receive this PDF. Um, where's my PDF? I keep losing things. <laughs> okay, so this is my PDF. Um, so they will receive this PDF that they can now click on and they can save it and they can find you and download whatever it is that they need to download. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you still have any questions, leave them down below. I am very good at answering the questions don't think that uh, I'm not going to come back and answer your questions. You can always reach me. Make sure to read the description box to be able to find the link on how to create this deliverable. And that's it. Until the next one.